Hey, what's up everybody? It's Eric with FisherDrumming.com and I'm back with another lesson. This time we're talking about a super sweet, a super funky and super saucy ride groove. So let's get started. So I actually played this groove in a recent lesson. The lesson was on linear fills, but as I was doing the lesson, I played this groove in the beginning and you guys loved it. So I wanted to do this for you as well. Okay, so there's a lot going on in this groove, but don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you in three simple steps. Make sure you stay all the way to step three to see how we really put this together and put the final embellishments on this groove. The first thing you need to know, this is a 16th note groove. It's one measure long, and we're gonna break it up into two parts, okay? So let's take a look at the first half and get the sticking down for that. Kick, left, right, kick, left, right, right, left. Okay, again, kick, left, right, kick, left, right, right, left. A quick note, we're gonna accent the left hand on beat two and four, your standard backbeat accent, right? All the other left hand notes are gonna be ghosted. So let's play this sticking pattern, let's loop this a few times to a click so you can get familiar with it. All right, so stick with me. Let's learn the second half. You're already halfway there, and then we're gonna put this baby together and make it sing. So picking up on the three, we have right, left, left, right, left, kick, right, left. Now notice, those first two right hands on the ride also have a kick drum, okay? Again, that's right, left, left, right, left, kick, right, left. And remember to put the backbeat accent on the four, okay, with your snare. Now let's loop that a few times and get familiar with that, and then we'll put it all together. Now here's where we really wanna solidify the groove in our minds, right? We learned the two parts separately, now it's time to put it all together and play the whole groove and just loop that. What we're trying to do here is just internalize this pattern and really feel the groove. We're gonna move on to step three next and really put the final finishing touches on this to make it sing, but you can't do that until you get this pattern memorized and really feel the groove. So let's practice that a few times together.
All right, guys, here's where we can really take this groove to the next level. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change up our left hand orchestration and we're gonna add some accents. This is gonna give the groove a whole new texture and feel. It's really gonna make it sing and come alive. So what I want you to do is move all of those left hand ghost notes onto your hi-hat, a closed hi-hat. So you're gonna be just playing those ghost notes just like you were on the snare, but you're gonna be playing them on the hi-hat, okay? You're still gonna come through on your snare on two and four with the backbeat though. We don't wanna lose that, but we wanna make those ghost notes sing on the hi-hat. All right, and then the last note of the groove, the A of four, right, the uh of four, four E and uh, we're gonna be accenting an open hi-hat on there, okay? It's gonna open on uh, and you're gonna close the hi-hat on beat one, okay? When you hit your kick drum on beat one, your hi-hat is also closing, so both your feet come down together. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some accents with the bell of the ride, all right? We're, we're grooving on the ride here on the body, but we wanna incorporate that ride bell because it adds such a cool feel to the groove. So there's a, a lot of different ways we can accent with our bell. In this example, I'll show you two different ways. We can play it on the three E and a, uh, and we can also play it on the three E and a, uh, four E and. I like those two different ways. And especially when you do that three in a row, it has, you're hitting every third note, right? So it's cool because you're playing this 16th note groove and then you're throwing in these kind of, almost like a triplet feel, three E and a, four E and with the accents on the bell. And then remember, four E and a, we got our hi-hat opening over there. So there's a lot going on here. Take your time with it. It's gonna be really interesting. Take it very slow at first. And maybe a good idea is to start with one thing at a time. Start with the hi-hat. Um, pulling the ghost notes on there first, and then when you get comfortable with that, then you start bringing in the, the bell of the ride or vice versa. Play with it, have some fun, and then I'll speed it up and show you what this sounds like all together. It's super fun, I hope you guys enjoy it. you guys were able to stick with me all the way up to step three here. Now, if you weren't able to do that step yet, don't worry. You can always go and practice step two and always do those creative things later as your chops get a little bit more developed. Now, if you want some help developing chops, there are some lessons on the website at fisherdrumming.com. You can become a monthly member. So for a small monthly payment, you get access to all of these lessons. I would love to see you on there. So check that out. And also guys, I really need your support on the channel, right? We're growing crazy right now. The lessons are doing awesome. So please continue to give me your thumbs up, your likes, your shares. Um, remember to sub subscribe and share these videos with others. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you on the next lesson. I'm trying to come out with one lesson a week to keep these things going for you. So thanks guys, see you again, take care.